Hello everyone, this is Umar Taskeer and you are watching WSQ Tech YouTube channel. Guys, in this video, I am actually going to talk to you about link research process. We're going to explore how we can do the link research, actually how we can do the research for our backlinks that we acquire, right? So, uh, the tool which I am going to use for this process will be Moz Pro and it's a free tool. So, it will be convenient for you also to start your SEO process from, uh, from backlinks point of view, right? So, we're going to explore this thing. So, uh, not wasting much time, let's straight away dive into the tool. Now, you can see on my laptop screen, I have this Moz Pro dashboard open with me. But uh, right now you are see seeing this dashboard, but if you do not have that Moz ID, you won't be able to see this kind of dashboard. So for that purpose, you have to sign up with Moz and uh, you have to get registered with Moz and uh, then there you will get a short verification notification email on your email ID and from there you can verify and then you can come back to this dashboard. Now, uh, here are some options, right? You can see here it's written like root domain. So, uh, you can do the backlink analysis in three parts over here. I, I mean to say there are three three basic different things uh, through which you can actually go into this process, right? One is root domain. That is the root domain of your website or uh, if, you, if you put the root domain that will actually extract the uh, backlinks from that root domain, right? Then you have subdomain. If you want to do the backlink analysis of your subdomain, then you can go along with this option. And if you do have some backlink analysis for your own uh, a particular page, right? A category page, a product page or something like that, a service page, then then you have to go to this exact page, right? So, we'll, we'll begin with the root domain. And one more thing I would like to tell you over here is that if you want to do your own backlink analysis, then you can put your own domain over here. And if you are interested in uh, backlink analysis of your competitor, then you, you can just simply put your competitor's domain over here and it will work in the same way, right? whatever the uh, suggestions or options or the results analysis you'll get over here after putting your domain over here that will be the same for your competitor also there will will not be any difference in case of your competitor or you right so we'll begin with moz.com now so, uh, suppose if you have your competitor like moz.com then how how what kind of matrices how how will it work everything like that right so let's uh, put uh, moz.com over here and then i'll click on this search button now you'll see uh, here it is like domain authority there are different matrices you will see over here along with some nice graphs that uh, you can see over here right so you'll see here it is domain authority then linking domains inbound links ranking uh, keywords and the domain authority authority is quite high 89 right and if you guys remember let me tell you one thing domain authority is not a metric which is actually given by google it is given by uh, moz right and how moz actually gives this domain authority you can see uh, there are different other domains or website which are related to your website or we can say that there are different other website which are of your niche na? so uh, actually the moz calculates your domain's value or we can say that your domain's authority with other website or other domains of your niche and then it actually gives you a value, it assigns you a number, it assigns you a metric. So, that is actually domain authority but it is actually given by Moz, it is not given by Google or something um, any other, right? So, it is something which which can be used for, uh, for, for the purpose that if you want to compare yourself with your niche uh, competitors, right? Then, uh, there is second thing which is linking domains. So, there are the numbers which, which are actually showing that how many linking domains are there. Then inbound links and then ranking keywords. Ranking keywords is basically uh, if you see if someone types any keyword right and your website or your domains comes into the top 50 results it that keyword will be counted over here right. So, if if any keyword which triggers your website in top 50 results that keywords gonna come over here right over here right in ranking keywords so there are 147k keywords for moz which actually fetches moz results in top 50 right so there are 50 key there are like 147k keywords which can bring moz.com in top 50 results in the search engine result pages right so got it this is ranking keyword then inbound links the numbers are given over then linking domains and one other very important thing which i would like to discuss with you guys is discovered and lost links right so as the name suggests discovered means the total uh, new new links that we actually acquire the total amount of new links that we actually acquire are uh, considered into total discovered links and uh, if we talk about the total loss this these are the ba actually lost backlinks that we lost so there's there's a uh, 
some net net numbers of the backlinks which is around like uh, 3000 right so 3000 net backlinks are uh, with us right now na? or we can say that if it's our competitors website then the net 3000 backlinks are there with the competitors website right or the competitors domain it can be ours also if we if we uh, if we remove this mod.com and we put our domain so it this kind of matrices or these kind of figures can be ours also so uh, what i told you in beginning is that it doesn't matter that you put here something your competitors uh, domain or your uh, your domain it works in the same way there are no changes in the matrices now you can see this graphs actually shows how many with respect to time right here you can see uh, the timeline is given then the linking no, uh, domains are also there to in on horizontal axis you see time going and on vertical axis you see the linking domains the number of the linking domains so with respect to time how many linking domains are there how much you gained or how much you lost this is actually a very good figure right? that actually tells you where your backlinking strategy stands now where are you actually standing in your backlinks profile or where your competitor actually stands in your backlinks profile is he active in making backlinks or not if you see there are very few total discovered you can you can easily figure out that okay right my competitor is not very much active into uh, back making backlinks but here you can see these are so much these these numbers are great numbers and here the time is also given that it is actually in last 60 days right so in last 60 days uh, somewhere like uh, 7.1k uh, new backlinks are gained and uh, the loss is uh, also like uh, 4.1 still there is a net gain of uh, 3000 3k uh, backlinks right so then there are uh, other matrices with which you can analyze with respect to time that how these matrices go up and down right so it makes a constant of 90 somewhere around 90 it doesn't go uh, over 90 but it remains somewhere around 90 and what is it it is domain authority with respect to time the domain authority of moz.com remains somewhere around 90 right then you can also check the page authority then linking domains everything is there with respect to this uh, time graph right with respect to this timeline right then there are follow versus no follow so internal links external links and how many how many external links are there which are follow so there is actually the ratio of follow and no follow with respect to external and also internal links so uh, this is a separate thing that how many internal links i have and how many external links i have along with the follow and no follow ratio then top followed links to this site and top pages on this site so top pages actually the higher the number of page authority is actually the top page of that particular domain so here it is mosh.com the home page itself is has the highest page authority and the others page also which which do have good page authority can be considered under the top pages on this side so you can analyze uh, like that key what my competitors is doing what kind of pages my competitors making what kind of authorities are assigned to my competitors different web pages so this is something you can do uh, from analysis point of view from your competitors point of view then we have an anchor text right so moz moz is the most popular anchor text which has uh, maximum number of the links right so that that is very obvious moz is a brand and it has that uh link on this very popular anchor text right so open site explorer also uh, gets so many so many backlinks right so you can see there are so many options you can explore now uh, i was into link research and then i was here into overview see so these all things were actually into overview now if you see there are other separate things also now within our because our actually contains all the aspects right but here are here are the different uh, separate uh, partitions also or we can say that separate partitioned reports right so within overview if you want to see top pages which were mentioned over here right over here top pages on this site uh, because it's uh, just a basic snap so if you want to go into more detail you can actually come over here and you can click on top pages now you can see there there is much detailed information detailed report and uh, along with the status code also you can you can put some filter also because what kind of status code you want to see and you can see that this particular URL has highest page authority with uh, with the number of domains are also there external links are also there outbound domains are also there if you want to view links you can click over here and you can see the links that uh, that are associated with this particular thing along with the type of the link right no follow no follow redirect link so there is so much expo uh, so much information to explore actually along with the exploring information you can also export these datas uh, so that you can further view them so there is so much uh, you can do pretty good uh, actually link analysis using this moz free 
tool right so this is actually not paid you can you can explore so many things with this free tool only so i would like to suggest you that uh, go through this tool and try to analyze your domain along with your competitor domain i hope this will work for you and you will be benefited with this particular tool you will be benefited a lot with this particular tool right so uh, so that's it for the today's video i hope you have enjoyed this video and if you have enjoyed this video please do like share comment and subscribe to our channel see you in the next video till then goodbye